What up everyone, it's your boy Xman87 here bringing you another Marvel Legends video and what I have for you today is the Marvel Legends What If Wave The Watcher Build-A-Figure Series Zombie Captain America Action Figure Review. Before I get into everything, if you could please leave a thumbs up like rating on the video, it'll help show your support for my channel and I greatly appreciate it. Now, with that said, let's go! We're gonna take a look at the head sculpt first because this thing is absolutely incredible. Oh my god, I love how ghoulish it looks. Like, the mouth tendons right there. Oh my god, that looks so sick. The teeth sculpt. Oh my god. You see the tongue out. The freaking eyes. I love that the helmet is a separate sculpt. It adds more realism to the overall aesthetic. And you can see the chin strap dangling down there. That is really cool. And if you take a look right here... You can see where the chin strap is snapped. So I love that, man. And the helmet. I, wow, it's, <laughs> look at this, man. So amazing. I like the gold paint. And you got the wings painted in gold. So that looks good. The sculpting all around is just freaking awesome. Yeah, I like on the back of the neck, you got the uh, bones just popping out. And, oh can't forget this important detail uh you see the blood right there on the neck not only do you get it under the chin there's some like you know blood dripping down on the chin and i'll let you all know to give you the heads up if you're creeped out by blood <laughs> you might want to turn away because this figure has a lot of blood and there will be more blood shown so yeah the blood dripping down there on the neck obviously if you've seen the show you know what happens I'm not going to spoil it just in case I know there are some people that haven't seen the episode yet. Uh, wow, it just, that's an important detail for me and I, I like that. I appreciate that so much. I could spend forever all on this freaking head sculpt because it's that awesome. Wow, would have been nice to get some blood splatter like on this corner of the helmet. That would have been really cool. But taking a look at the rest of the body... You get a lot of freaking details here. So you get that nice metallic gold. You got the scratches. Like right there you can see some scratches. I think that's the only area of the suit that I've seen. Like scratches. And then look at this freaking. The, the rib cage showing out here. Oh my god. That is just sick. Oh the blood splatter throughout. And then you see like the ripped flesh. And it kind of looks all decrepit. Oh my god, this is freaking awesome. The arm has blood on it too. Oh wow. You know I praised Hasbro in the past for getting edgy, adding blood. And they took it to a whole new level here, man. They really did. So kudos to them. And you see blood splatter throughout. Let me see if I could bring an extra light in here so you can see. Look at that. So you got some on the blue. And then this is a whole, I got to tell you that this, this is a brand new sculpt, entirely brand new sculpt. They did not cheap out here. Where it would be white is all yellow because, you know, thinking zombie, right? Thinking he's dirty and stuff. So that white would not exist anymore. You get some blood splatter right there. Oh, that's sick. And then you got the arms right here and it's tattered. You get some torn clothing. But again, to appreciate the sculpt, it's nice. You get pinless elbows on both sides. So I like that. Oh, this is so good. And then you have like the torn flesh here. So you get more blood there. Oh, so good. And the torn glove. The hands just came out really nice. Just really nice. I forgot to point out on the head, you do get that like hole in the nose. I like the zombie-like hand gesture there. So that's cool. Taking a look at the back here. Look at the another rib cage exposed. And then you see this part of the holster, the shoulder strap. It's it's torn. So I love I love that. I just really, really love this. And you get more blood in there. So I, I really like the attention to detail by tearing up that strap. And you get more torn clothing here, as you can see. That is very, very cool. Looking at the belt, you get the gold buckle right there. And, you know, the pouches. So the belt is pretty clean. 
And uh, you got America's dead ass right there. <laughs> and looking at the front of the legs. Oh, this is where it gets so freaking sick, man. Oh, look at this. Dude, oh, like how can you not be impressed by this? Look at those punctures. Look at the holes. Like, those are real holes. It's not painted filler. Nothing. You see, you can see my finger through there. They, they sculpt right through it. Oh, my God. Look at the freaking bones. Oh, God. This is gruesome. This is beautifully gruesome. You see the torn flesh, more bones, and the clothing. Oh my god. I cannot praise this figure enough. This is amazing. You get more blood splatter there. As you can see, it's dripping down on the knee pad right here. The knees are pinless as well, so that is beautiful. Taking a look at the back. <laughs> oh my god. Look. It, this is beautiful. This is just gruesomely beautiful. Uh, I still can't get over those holes. Like, it, I just still can't get over it. It's amazing. They nailed it here, man. And if you look at the rest of the feet, he has one boot on. I think this is a brand new boot, too. The straps are a lot thicker. And the other caps I've seen, uh, the, the straps are thinner. And you got the boot there. And then you got the uh, the other the bare feet right here. I would have liked for this to have like a dirty wash. Like I'm thinking, you know, he's a zombie. He's gonna be dirty as hell, you know. And uh, it, it's just clean. Like no no zombies take showers, man. It looked like he just took a shower. <laughs> so it it made no sense for this guy to be clean, but yet the Spider Man has like dirty feet. You know, he's got the dirty shoes. Whether he stepped on dirt, mud, zombie blood, whatever. It would have been nice for the feet to have been very dirty. You do get a slight wash here on the skin tone. It's very subtle. It's very subtle. But yeah, that's the one thing I would have loved to see added on this. But other than that, the zombie toes are uh, very, um, very bony right there. And there's no threads. Yeah, there's threads on the bottom of the feet here. So that looks cool. Wow, man. Nailed it. Absolutely nailed it with this guy. Now taking a look at his accessories, his one and only accessories is a shield because I mean that's all he had in the show anyway. So that's all you really need, and uh, it's really really nice. So as you can see, you have the blood splatter all over the shield. I freaking love that. I mean the paint is cool. Don't get me wrong. Like the blue metallic blue, the metallic silver is nice. The red is just you know plastic. The marble effect is going on there. Even including on the back of the shield, you know, it's all red. But the blood splatter, that's the highlight here. This is amazing. You know what I absolutely love about this for all my photographers out there or just anyone who wants to display. You can use this shield to recreate like the Civil War death of Captain America if you want to do that, you know, because you get a bloody shield. You don't have to take one of your used Captain America shield, although you might have plenty of them already and then just touch them up paint them uh in red for like the blood effect but yeah if you're not into all the painting stuff this is a, a nice one you can use for that although i will say the blood kind of looks a little on the purple side more than red you get some blood splatter right there on the star so yeah just taking a look here well, on some angles it just looks like blood stain and you get the straps which i'm so happy about you don't have that stupid flip the clip system that i hate so much so you actually get the straps with this. Fairly easy to put it on this guy. You know, the bigger strap goes first. And the smaller strap, you want to make sure that his hand grips it. I would suggest curling the wrist. Because sometimes it can be loose. But right there is it's a firm grip. But sometimes if you don't curl that wrist, it can uh, loosen up. But yeah, that is really cool. I kind of just wish this arm was a little more... Uh, there was a little more wash to this arm more dirty maybe more blood uh that's one thing i forgot to mention you can put it on this hand too if you want where the glove is again i like to curl up that wrist yeah he doesn't hold on to it well on this hand oh i forgot to point out that uh this hand right here actually has blood on the thumb too so that is freaking cool again more blood love it this guy's just a lot of fun, and I don't really have any zombie figures, so it was really fun to, you know, uh, do some zombie poses for the first time. So, uh, let's kind of do that, because 
you know, that is like super, it was super fun. I, I gotta admit, let's just put his arm like that, curl that wrist, maybe tilt the head, and uh, let's put these thighs inward, the ankles, you know, swivel that boot here, you know, get, this is kind of like important on a zombie pose to just, you know, get those toes pointing towards each other. Let me move this one up a little bit and uh, see if he stands. Oh, let's kind of bring that torso in like so. And, oh my God, look at this, man. He just balances perfectly. You see that? He just balances so perfectly. It was a lot of fun to get this guy into a lot of zombie-like poses. Oh, this is so good. I love it. Just look how he looks in the back right there. Oh, it's just so good. I love it. And you know we gotta do the freaking Michael Jackson thriller pose because, you know, Michael Jackson, he's the legend, the GOAT. Okay, my life is complete now. I've done a thriller pose. I think I've done every pose in the book now. <laughs> oh man, this is, this is just a lot of fun. I am just having a lot of fun with this figure. Now to go over articulation with Zombie Cap, his head moves that far up and it looks very high can we get a little higher yes it can wow that is really good it doesn't move down though he just looks straight and then it moves left right you got some good head tilt and it does rock around his arm moves that far up and as well as this other arm because there's additional sculpting here so as you can see he can get a high t pose so that is really nice his arm moves all around. You got the swivel, bicep swivel. You got the double jointed pinless elbows. Look at that. You could touch his shoulders. That's freaking beautiful. And if you want to see it on the other side, the same thing. He can achieve it. It's just amazing. The swivel and you got the hinge on the wrist, the upper torso rocker. So it moves that far. Damn. Wow. That's some pretty good range for a torso rocker. And it moves that far back. You got the swivel, and it does pivot side to side, rocks around, and you also get a waist swivel. How cool is that? Legs move that far apart, so he can't get a full split, but pretty acceptable. His leg kicks that far up and that far back, so you get an awkward frontward split. His legs rock around, thigh swivel, double jointed knees, and heel to America's dead ass. Perfect. And his boot swivels. You got the ankles that move up down and all around ankle rockers and in case you wanted to see the articulation on the bare feet and it's got good range moving that far up and definitely that far down wow and then of course it rocks all around now for some comparisons not much to compare him with i don't see the point in comparing him since zombies don't stand completely straight but this is for your viewing pleasure here he is next to the first avengers captain america and endgame cap here he is next to Agent Carter and Bucky. Would like to see the Shower Soldier. Whoops, I mean the Winter Soldier in the next What If Wave. For those that seen the episode, it would be pretty hilarious if we got a Shower Soldier figure. <laughs> Lastly, here he is next to his fellow wave mate, Zombie Hunter Spider-Man. Alright, and now to wrap things up, my final rating is a 10 out of 10. Total awesomeness. I have nothing but great things to say about this figure. I've always praised Hasbro for getting edgy by adding some blood to a few legends we've gotten over these past few years, but they really pushed the boundaries here with the showcase of gore throughout the figure. Just wow. Gore galore. With all the blood showcased here on this figure, I'm going to say something that I haven't said in a long time. Get ready for it. Get ready for it. This shit ain't for kids, bruh. <laughs> Look. I'll be honest here, I don't care for zombies, never liked them, it's not my genre, and I never understood the obsession with them. I know some of you Marvel zombie fans are here and ready to chew my brains out, but I got a confession to make. I hated Marvel Zombies. I tried reading Marvel Zombies and I just couldn't get through the first few pages. I thought it was trash and stopped reading, but after this figure and seeing the What If Zombie episode, which was a great episode and great storytelling. I think I want to go back and read Marvel Zombies to try giving it another chance. 
If I still don't like it, then oh well, it's just not for me. But that's the beauty of a great action figure. It makes me want to learn more from the source material. I think this will definitely pave the way for more Marvel Legends Zombies, which has been requested by many fans over the years, by the way. And I'm totally fine with that, as I love seeing new things come to the Legends line to keep it refreshing. Especially seeing all the gory glory this figure has. Imagine how the rest will come out. They could have easily done an entire What If Zombies wave. The sculpting from ripped and decrepit flesh, torn clothing, articulation, which was fun to explore zombie posing for the first time, paint apps of blood and blood splatter, Hasbro just went above and beyond here. A very strong contender for top 10 legends of 2021. Now I kick it back to you all. What do you think of Zombie Captain America? How would you rate it? Do you want to see more zombies from either What If or the comics? Comment below, let me know, we'll chat about it. That was my review, please follow me on Instagram if you haven't already, link is in the description below. Get your Marvel Legends What If Wave at Big Bad Toy Store, link is in the description below. Hit the notification bell so you always know when my latest videos are up. Share and subscribe if you are new, see you on the next review, peace peace.